So, I wanted to talk to y'all a couple of things. This video is going to be scattered for the next week. So, this is just part one of the video. So, today's video is about protecting your energy. I know it's going to come out very ghetto and everything, but so what? Take it how you want to take it. But as long as you get the message, that's all that matters. So, I sit here and I'm think about what my day is going to be like and I think about my energy and how I should protect my energy because I'm going to protect my energy at all costs from anything and anybody and I, I'm i never scared to say no. I'm never scared to be like, you know what, I got to stop and breathe and tend to myself before I even bother anybody out here in this world and that's including my fiance. So I wake up early in the motherfucking morning. It's not every day that I wake up at the same time, but when I do, the first thing I do is light my candles, light my um, sage, smudge my uh, smudge my sage in my room, protect my energy to help me relax and meditate. So I meditate for an hour, like I still do for these past couple of years. I still think about everything that I went through, everything I'm going through now, and how I can make everything better in the future. So I spoke to my fiance about this and I said that I got to protect my energy from everything at all costs because when I let people enter my world, some of them, they enter it on a, like a good level. Some of them enter on some bullshit and, and I'm saying him like, yo, but I would never disturb them in theirs. So I have to sit here and pray and hope for the best, hope that I, um, if we can't seem to work it out. At least I know that we tried and this goes for anybody, whether we're friends, you know, whether we're family or whatever. I even pray for good company. So I cleanse my house, sage my house, and I prayed in my house. You know, I prayed over my house and I was like, yo, I only want good company around me. I pray that every good energy comes into this house is pure and amazing and I never wish any harm or any bad wrongdoing to anything and when I told somebody about this I actually told more than one person about this and they thought it was really nice they was like oh I never heard nobody do that before or even say that before because not everybody prays over their house not everybody gives a damn about their energy or their house so when anybody comes in your house you know and they don't got good vibes it's like in a way you don't care but you do care. You don't care because it's like if you really do care about what comes into your house, your house wouldn't feel so uncomfortable. It wouldn't feel so negative. You won't feel any tension. And a lot of people always, always say that they're all about good vibes and attention and good intentions. But your house is full of negativity. You go to sleep with negativity in your house. You wake up with negativity in your house. Try praying over your house and talk to people before they come over to have good attitudes and energy when they come over. You don't want nobody coming in your house, you know, disrespecting your energy, and your vibe. You trying to be on some chill shit and here this person is coming in with bad energy. So what you do about that? Don't just ignore it. Pray about it. Or you better light some incense up, some sage up. Yo, I heard from like so many people's time and time again to buy some sage buy some incense candles pray over your house ain't nothing wrong with that pray that you have good energy come in and out of your house every day positive vibes positive thoughts and everything will be fine same thing for your kids because a lot of people y'all got kids out here would you want bad energy coming in your house no right so i start going shopping for some incense and stuff some candles i have like so much incense and good candles and stuff around here like every single month i'm sitting here spending a whole lot of money on this shit but it's worth it at the end of the day it gives me positive vibes and it gives me positive thoughts when i meditate i meditate about a lot of healthy shit i sit here and imagine myself in a good area in a world full of positive vibes and love and euphoria and i be in the most amazing feeling ever like you just don't have no idea so protecting your vibe protecting your energy is everything seriously this is how you go by your day without any stress 
aggravation or whatever. You won't have to come home questioning anything. You won't have to leave your house pissed off or questioning anything like some people do. And another thing, it does make you glow. It does affect your body and your features in the best way possible. Like me, I have this beautiful glow on my face and I do get some people outside telling me I have a glow and they appreciate the glow because they was like, yo, sometimes you don't be looking the best. You'd be upset. Sometimes you look like you just been crying. Like what's going on with you? And people be asking me a million questions. And I'm sitting here like, yo, if you only knew, I really don't want to tell everybody about what's going on with me. If I'm do, if I'm having a bad day and not do be in a rut or whatever, or if I just got out of a horrible, horrible argument with anybody I'm with. You could see it on my face, especially when I'm walking down the street. So this is why people be asking. But I'm like, I don't want to really talk about it, but I'm fine. I'm going to be fine. Oh, best of believe Sherelle's going to be fine no matter what. I could go through a million one fights and arguments, and I'm still going to be fine by the end of the week. Ain't nobody's going to sit here and mess up anything for me and mess up my household or mess up my energy. It's like I could feel God in his presence all around me and tell me, Things is going to be fine. Just breathe. Yes, you went through a horrible fight. Dust yourself off and get back up and keep it moving. Because tomorrow is never promised. If you keep dwelling on what happened yesterday and today, you're not going to be able to see tomorrow. Stress kills in case people keep forgetting. And I don't want to be one of those people. So what I have to do, I pray about it. I meditate and I lay down my bed and I don't get out of my room until I know I feel better. So I've been going back outside. I may be outside for like 30, 45 minutes, but it was like, I, I can't do what I used to do before because things is not the same with me. My life has truly turned all around. It went upside down so many times because of different people's coming in. But this last person that I'm actually with, and I said last person for a reason because I'm not making this move ever again. Doing the whole fiance thing, getting married thing, moving in with somebody thing. This is going to be the first and last time. And if I feel like I have to get married again like later on down the line because my husband want to mess up or my wife want to mess up, either one. I'm like, yo, I'm going to be very hesitant and guarded about everything, you know, and... I sit here and try to listen to motivational speakers on YouTube about everything. And I'm sitting here like, oh my God, like, what if this doesn't work out? What if this? And then they was like, you got to stop thinking that. You got to stop thinking of what is. And this is what I was doing. I was like, oh my God, look at this. This hair always sticks out. I finally got my hair straight and, and this is what it does. But I had to stop thinking about the what is, and I was like, you know what, it's going to be fine. It's like the love is there, the love shows, but it's just, it's a lot of other areas in life that really bothers me, and it does fuck with my mental, so that's just something to think about.